Here now is Philip Stackhouse, attorney for Major Matthew Goldstein. Good to have you with us uh, this evening, sir. So Thanks it, for having me, Martha. Explain to us the way that you see this case and what you believe Matt's defense is. Well, Matt's defense is one of really just telling the truth, the same that he did when he was being interviewed by uh, an analyst with the CIA during his employment process. Uh, as Tracy just said, the allegations that have been spread around the media is that Matt killed a detainee. There is no evidence that this individual was still detained. All of the evidence in the case from 2015 forward, when I represented him at his board of inquiry, all of the evidence in this case is that individual was cut loose and released from the combat outposts that Matt commanded in Afghanistan in 2010. Matt executed an ambush at some time after that the individual was released, resulting in his death. And, that, and that's the facts. Now, he, Matt had expressed that in the past, um, when people had been released, they became informants, basically, and that they came back to attack his base, his people, um, and two of his uh, fellow Marines, I believe they were, uh, were killed just recent, you know, prior to this. And, and he believed that this person was the person responsible for the deaths of those two servicemen, correct? That's correct. And the, the facts will show that, in fact, he was the bomb maker who had set off the explosive that killed those two Marines. There was um, confirmation of that while Matt was in Afghanistan. So what happens now? Uh, and on what grounds was it reopened? And what impact might the president's comments have? Well, let, let me go backwards first. Yeah. I think the, the comments by the president when he tweeted, uh, I think it was just yesterday, there's been a lot of talk about that being unlawful command influence, or perhaps, uh, you know, it could be. I've been doing this for close to 20 years now. I've never seen a prosecutor bring an unlawful command influence motion against a higher authority. The president's the commander in chief. He is, in fact, a convening authority. He can take jurisdiction of this case and handle it himself. Additionally, as you know, the president has the power of the pardon, and he could issue a pardon to Matt for these charges. And, and those are the things that we're hoping that he's looking at doing. Uh, as far as what happens next, uh, absent something happened during the Christmas season here and the president taking action, uh, there'll be an Article 32 hearing, which is the military, loosely, the military equivalent of a grand jury investigation or a probable cause hearing, probably happening sometime in spring. Tell us about Matt. He, he's a father. Uh, he went to West Point. Tell us more about him. Yeah, Matt, Matt's a great dad. Uh, he's a 2002 West Point graduate. He was an infantry officer before he became a special forces officer. He's got multiple combat deployments. He's got multiple awards for gallantry. Uh, you heard Trace talk a little bit about the Silver Star for which he received, and there was a nomination that he received yet a higher award, the Distinguished Service Cross, which the Secretary of the Army, in fact, signed before later rescinding it and then revoking his Silver Star with no due process rights. And, and that award, that gallantry on the battlefield had nothing to do with these allegations. It happened well before the allegations. How is he doing with all of this? Well, I, I will tell you, I, I talk to Matt every day, several times a day. Um, I've, I've known Matt for years now. Uh, he is overwhelmed by the support that he's received from the public, uh, from his to former team soldiers, uh, members that he's served with. Uh, just the outpouring of support has been amazing. He's lifted up greatly by his wife, Julie. Uh, who's one of his biggest advocates. And uh, the one thing I would like to say is that he's also receiving a lot of support through a uh, charitable organization, a nonprofit organization called United American Patriots. And they are helping Matt with his defense um, so that we have all of the experts that we need to be able to defend him the very best way that we can. Philip Stackhouse, uh, please keep us posted. We'll be, we'll be following we'll. this. As Thank we you, go. Martha. Thank you so much for being here tonight.